Hey you guys, got my new capture card. First I want to say, there are a couple different brands. You got the, it just says like YBM or HDM 1080p or something like that capture card. The Aztec capture card and then the Cooler brand capture card. Coolertron brand capture card, but they're all pretty much the same. This is the Aztec and this is the YBM 1080p. So as you can see, they are the same. The Aztec right here just says Reliance on the front, that's it. And look at the inputs in the front, exactly the same. Same thing on the back. HDMI output, input, the component cable, and the power supply. It comes with the component cable attachment that you connect the component cables to, and they go there. For PS3, you do, well, and if you're like, you may be like me, too, you have to update the software, so you would basically connect your USB to the computer, go to, type in the Aztec, um, capture card and go to the website and then look for the 280 capture card which is this um, and then click fact and it'll have the software in there as well as a guide to hook it up but to save you the trouble I've decided to do a video so for Xbox I'm not going to show you that because it's pretty simple connect the HDMI cable to, to the TV and then into the output you connect another cable to the Xbox and the opposite end of that one to the uh, input so TV output cable I mean the Xbox input and it'll come right on and set. So you once you put that software update on the USB, put it in here, cut this on, and it'll update itself. Um, and then to record, you have to use a USB. It's not to a computer like, like most capture cards. You just plug your USB in, hit this button, it'll go from green to red, and then you're all set. And it records in 15 minute intervals. So for example, if you recorded a 30 minute video, it would create you two 15 minute videos. So first we'll use the PS3. And it's pretty much like I said, I, you have to use a splitter to get it. You connect the HDMI cable to the splitter and then a splitter to the box. In this case, this splitter came with the cable. So that splitter, that end, that HDMI cable is already connected into my PS3 in the back. And then I have the splitter, I mean the opposite end. Um, and I'm connecting that into the input in this box. And then you take the TV cable and connect that into the output, which is the first one. It says output right there. You can't miss it. Make sure your cables are good. And then you give it a second and voila. And you get sound. As you can see, you can hear me scrolling. And picture is pretty good. Uh, I don't want to click a video or anything. That might take a little too much time. But like I said, pretty much set. Now. To do the same thing for the Wii, let me cut the PS3 off and unplug that. And so voila. Um, Wii is connected. So with my Wii, I'm using an HDMI adapter so I can connect it through HDMI to get a kind of better quality look to it. So I have the HDMI adapter connected into the back. And so we're going to take the, um, with this splitter, it's pretty awesome, but the only downfall is that you have to connect it through USB. That's the power outlet. So I just connect it into the USB slot on the PS3 or the Wii. So first I'll plug that in to get that out of the way so I do not forget. And then, all right, so now to the actual good stuff. So everything's pretty much still connected from the PS3, but I'll pretty much remind you guys. So the TV, HDMI cable, the HDMI cable connected to the TV goes into the input. And then the HDMI cable, which is connected to this splitter goes into the Wait, I'm sorry, let me rephrase that. The HDMI cable from the TV goes into the output. And then the HDMI cable which is from the splitter which, going into the, which is going into the game goes into the input. And then you connect the opposite end of that into your Wii, or in my case, the HDMI adapter itself. And you also give this a second. And don't forget to cut the Wii on. And, uh, yeah. Give it a quick second, let the Wii recognize it, and let the connection go through, and voila. And like I said, 
good good quality, good video. Um, and you get sound. And this is all you pretty much need. You just hit, like I said, you hit this record button and it goes from green to orange. You wait about a second and then it's, it's actually we're gonna record. Um, but that's pretty much how you set it up. It's pretty sick, simple. I love it so far. Um, for audio, I just, you, for audio you need a component cable for video instead of uh, the HDMI. It doesn't do it through HDMI. Um, but I just use the audio, I record that separately and just mix it together in editing. Um, but yeah, it's pretty simple. And that's, I'm talking for the microphone. If you want to use like voiceovers through mic, you have to use a, a component cable or to do like I do, record it separately and edit it in through editing. But like I said, that's pretty much how you set it all up. It's pretty simple. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and like this video, comment. Any questions you have, just leave a comment below and I'll try to help you guys. Um, but it's, it's pretty simple, like I said. Hope you guys enjoyed this.